Numbers chapter 18, And the Lord said to Aaron, You and your sons and your father's house with you shall bear and remove the iniquity of the sanctuary, that is, the guilt for the offenses which the people unknowingly commit when brought into contact with the manifestations of God's presence. And you and your sons with you shall bear and remove the iniquity of your priesthood, your own unintentional offenses. And your brethren also of the tribe of Levi, the tribe of your forefather, bring with you, that they may be joined to you and minister to you, that only you and your sons with you shall come before the tent of meeting into the holy place where only priests may go, and into the most holy place which only the high priest dares enter. And the Levites shall attend you as servants, and attend to all the duties of the tent. Only they shall not come near the sacred vessels of the sanctuary or the brazen altar, that they, and also you, Aaron, die not. And they shall be joined to you, and attend to the duties of the tent of meeting, all the menial service of the tent, and no stranger, no layman, anyone who is not a Levite, shall come near you, Aaron and your sons. And you shall attend to the duties of the sanctuary, and attend to the altar of burnt offering, and the altar of incense, that there be no wrath any more upon the Israelites, as in the incident of Korah, Dathan, and Abram. And I, behold, I have taken your brethren, the Levites, from among the Israelites, to you they are a gift, given to the Lord, to do the menial service of the tent of the meeting. Therefore you and your sons with you shall attend to your priesthood for everything of the altar of burnt offering and altar of incense and of the holy of holies within the veil that you shall serve. I give you your priesthood as a service of gift and the stranger, anyone other than Moses or your sons Aaron who come near shall be put to death. And the Lord said to Aaron, And I, behold, I have given you charge of my heave offerings, whatever is taken out and kept of the offerings made to me. All the dedicated and consecrated things of the Israelites to you have I given them as your portion and to your sons as a continual allowance forever by reason of your anointing as priests. This shall be yours of the most holy things reserved from the fire, every offering of the people, every cereal offering and sin offering and trespass offering of theirs, which they shall render to me, shall be most holy for you, Aaron, and your sons. As the most holy thing, and in the sacred place you shall eat of it. Every male of your house shall eat of it. It shall be holy to you. And this also is yours, the heave offering of their gift, with all the wave offerings of the Israelites. I have given them to you, and to your sons, and to your daughters, with you, as a continual allowance forever. Everyone in your house who is ceremonial clean may eat of it. All of the best oil, all of the best fresh wine, and of the grain, the first fruits of what they have given to the Lord, to the Lord, to you have I given them. Whatever is first ripe in the land, which they bring to the Lord, shall be yours. Everyone who is ceremonial clean in your house may eat of it. Every devoted thing in Israel, everything that has been vowed to the Lord, shall be yours. Everything that first opens the womb in all flesh, whether they bring to the Lord, whether it be of men or of beasts, shall be yours. Nevertheless, the firstborn of man you shall surely redeem, and the firstling of unclean beasts you shall redeem. And those that are to be redeemed of them from a month old you shall redeem, according to your estimate of their age, for the fixed price of five shekels in silver, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, which is twenty geras. But the firstling of a cow, or of a sheep, or of a goat you shall not redeem. They, as the firstborn of clean beasts, brought, belong to God and are holy. You shall sprinkle their blood upon the altar, and shall burn their fat for an offering made by the fire, for a sweet and soothing odor, odor to the Lord. And the flesh of them shall be yours, as the waved breasts and as the right shoulder are yours. All the heave offerings, the lifted out and kept portions of the holy things which the Israelites give to the Lord, I give to you and to your sons and to your daughters with you as a continual debt forever. It is a covenant of salt that cannot be dissolved or violated forever before the Lord, for you, Aaron, and for your posterity with you. And the Lord said to Aaron, You shall have no inheritance in the land of the Israelites, neither shall you have any part among them. I am your portion and your inheritance among the Israelites. And behold, I have given the Levites all the tithes in Israel for an inheritance in return for their service, which they serve, the, the menial service of the tent of meeting. Henceforth, the Israelites shall not come near the tent of meeting, the covered sanctuary, the holy place, and the holy of holies, lest they incur guilt and die. But the Levites shall do the menial service of the tent of meeting, and they shall bear and remove the iniquity of the people, that is, be answerable for the legal pollutions of the holy things, and offer the necessary atonements for unintentional offenses in these matters. It shall be a statute forever in all your generations that among the Israelites the Levites have no inheritance of the land. 
but the tithes of the Israelites, which they present as an offering to the Lord, I have given to the Levites to inherit. Therefore I have said to them, Among the Israelites they shall have no inheritance. They shall have homes and cities and pastures to use, but not to possess as their personal inheritance. And the Lord said to Moses, Moreover, you shall say to the Levites, When you take from the Israelites the tithe which I have given you, from then, for your inheritance, you th you, then you shall present an offering to, from it to the Lord, even a tenth of the tithe paid by the people. And what you lift out and keep your heave offering shall be credited to you as though it were the grain of the threshing floor, or as the fully ripe produce of the vine. Likewise, you shall also present an offering to the Lord of all your tithes which you receive from the Israelites, and therefore you shall give this heave offering lifted out and kept for the Lord to Aaron the priest." Out of all the gifts to you, you shall present every offering due to the, the Lord of all the best of it, even the hallowed part lifted out and held back of it for the Levites. Therefore you shall say to them, When you have lifted out and held back the best from it, and presented it to the Lord by giving it to yourselves, the Levites, then it shall be counted to you, the Levites, just as if it were the increase of the threshing floor or of the winepress. And you may eat it in every place, you and your households, for it is your reward for your service in the tent of meeting. And you shall be guilty of no sin by reason of it, when you have lifted out and held back the best of it. Neither shall you have polluted the holy things of the Israelites, neither shall you die because of it.